Thank you for once again tuning in to Finally Wayne. I'm Wayne, your host, and I'm coming to you today with a little vlog. Um, I'm going to be asking and answering some questions that I'll be bringing to my upcoming discussion with uh, my four co-hosts that will be coming up in August. Okay, I hope everybody is having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, or night, whatever time it is for you right now. And I'm going to begin with two of the Family Matters Part 3 questions. As I said, I'm going to be bringing this segment, Family Matters Part 3, to my group discussion. I know it's going to be hot. I already know. All right, so number one would be, are you beefing with any family members? Are you beefing with any family members? at this time me happily i could say nope 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 okay um i free myself you know and i feel great about that so that question for me is definitely a nope hit that comment section i want to know let me know are y'all beefing with any family members all right the second question for family matters part three in your family do you apologize or just one day start back talking again <laughs> Now, start back talking again is definitely toxic. It's definitely unhealthy because clearly there was no communication. You know, there was no communication. You didn't put it all on the table. You know, you need intervention. I think that's what my family actually needs. Intervention. Put it all out on the table. Let's talk about it. We ain't going to argue. We just going to intervention, you know. And it's very important because a lot of families definitely just one day start talking back again. And that's why the problem never gets like fixed because it's like, that's just like sweeping it under the rug, basically. That's basically what it is, okay? And my aunt, I remember she always used to preach about hidden resentment, okay? And I actually looked up the word resentment. It's bitter indignation and have been treated unfairly, all right? So if it bothers you, say something, you know? So we could go on and be family, basically, you know, anything that bothers you, don't hide it in your heart, you know, even when you give somebody a hug, your blood pressure goes down. So love always wins. It always wins. Peace and love always, because when you free yourself, when you free those people that you hold a hostage from your heart, you are going to be blessed. This is why so many people are basically, you know, getting sick because they still have people in their heart. They just will not forgive them. You know, how can we ask God for forgiveness if we can't forgive a person that we see every day? Can't happen. It just can't happen. So we still are in hidden resentment. Some signs you may be harboring resentment include continual or recurring feelings of a strong emotion, such as anger, when thinking about a specific interaction or experience, we keep rehearsing it in our head over and over, getting us madder and mad. And every time we think we get madder and madder and madder because we're rehearsing it in our head. Inability to stop thinking about the event that triggered the strong emotions. We can't stop thinking about what cousin so and so said, what aunt so and we, you know, and it just keep on building up hate. You know, basically, feelings of regret, fear, or avoidance of conflict. We don't want to face each other. You know, we need intervention, but we don't want to face each other. We're afraid. Like, but why? If it's bothering you that bad to free yourself, you got to face it. You know, we cannot be afraid of confrontation. We can't be afraid of confrontation, you know, and that's what it is. That's what harbors, you know, hidden resentment in our hearts, you know? So we're going to move on anyway, because we'll we'll get there um, when I bring it to Uncover Topics, my group discussion. All right. So number three, four things you think of every day. I think of a better life, my character being structured, that ties right into a better life, Change, because change is necessary and good. I think about death, and I think about money, of course, because we need it to live. <laughs> okay? Hit that comment section I want to hear. 
what four things y'all think of every day. Four things that you think of every day. All right. All right. So that, that was number three. All right. Forget the numbers. We're just going to move on. <laughs> you know, do you judge people before getting to know them? Do you judge people before getting to know them? With that question, I said yes and no. Because I believe, you know, I do believe in first impression. Uh, a person's first impression is usually who they really are, you know. But you also got to be careful with that. Because some people just have that guard up. They've been hurt. So, you know, their first impression could be like, eh, you know. Because I can't tell you how many people that I actually met. And I was like, when I first met you, you was like a little snappy snappy. You was a little snap queen. Like, you know, but then I, I got to know you and you got to see my worth and my value, you know, and then you started treating me good, you know. So, yeah, definitely many times, many times. All right. All right. So the next question, describe your 2021 life. Excuse me. Describe your 2022 life in three words. I would say delayed. Standing grateful, delayed standing grateful. Hit the comment section. All right, guys, let me know. Describe your 2022 life in three words. All right, next question Can good sex make you think you're in love? Absolutely, especially if there's no balance in a relationship. And when I say that, I mean when sex overrules the relationship, like basically, you know, y'all don't go out on dates no more y'all don't communicate like that it's just like a come here and you know and you know when it's like that i would definitely say and I, I mean i'm a libra so i'm all about balance i believe that you know if it's balance there you know you good but a lot of people good sex do make them think that they in love because that's all that you know what i'm saying they do there's no balance in the relationship all right how do you identify your worth how do you identify your worth? I would say focusing on you, um, loving yourself, you know, even more than you ever have ever, self-love, okay? But of course, like I said before in the other video, what is self-love without self-structure? We can't always expect somebody to, you know, be perfect and come and love us. We also have to make sure that we are also self-structured ourselves so we can be better for the person that we're going to join with. So that's what I got to hit that comment section. I want to hear y'all. How next question. What does it take for a relationship to last? What does it take for a relationship to last? I would say honesty, trust, communication. Um, you know, all of that, because, you know, you got to be honest. Everything got to be out on, on, on the table. You know, um, just as me and my cousin discussed it last night, I would also say continue to date. Keep the relationship spiced up and refreshed. Continue to always take each other out. That's that's how I see it. You know? Most definitely. Now, okay, let's see here. Go so we got to we got to we got. All right, and the last question. Do you believe in karma? Of course. If you believe in karma, define karma. What goes around comes around, you know, like the, and shoot, just as plain and simple as the church folks say, uh, <laughs> the church folks, they, 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 yes, they, they, they'll let you know, you're going to reap what you sow. You know, we say karma, but you know, really is you going to reap what you sow. My aunt used to say, you can't sow corn and expect oats, whatever you reap, you're going to sow. You know, that's that's just how it go. OK, but all of these uh, questions that you heard, they will also be included in the upcoming discussion, uncover topics, um, discussion part two with my four co-hosts, because I know they got a vibe. I already know. And these are not just the only questions. I just want to share, you know, a little questions in this vlog with you guys. And I want to hear from you. All right. Um, you know, as I always say, if you want to be Q&A on Finally Wayne or any ideas that you have, or just be a guest, mukbang, you know, guest, just come over and eat some good food with me and vibe, whatever. Let me know. I'm an open book. As you know, you can reach me on my Facebook, Wayne Williams, W-A-Y-N-E, 
W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, or my Instagram, Cwizzle31, S-E-E-W-I-Z-Z-O-3-1. All right. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful night, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you right now. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share this video. All right. Later, guys.